Great kick by Paul McCallum and the Rough Riders backed up inside their five. Need to get this offense going. And that play doesn't get off. Darian Durant, three of 11 in relief of Michael Bishop for 21 yards and an interception so far. Well, and, and this is how you know far the Saskatchewan Procedure. Rough Riders. Saskatchewan number 57. Half the distance to go line. Still first down. Timer, please hold the clock. Wait for my signal. This is how far they've had to go to try and juggle with all these injuries. Adam Nicholson was lined up as the tight end there on Cameron Wake on that last formation. So it's first and 12. Back at the two. Stu Ford. Pretty good run by the kid. Up to the 10-yard line. And gets him a little breathing room so that Darian Duran can at least drop back without having to go into his end zone. But it'll be valuable reps for Stu Ford. It was a real nice run for his first play ever running the football. And he ends up scoring a touchdown in the first half. You Eight. know that one will go in the trophy case. 18-yard touchdown run to tie the game in the second quarter but the Lions answered right back and have built a 10-point lead second and five Durant steps up and Durant will be brought down good short tackle there by Jamal Johnson who's had a strong night and there are a lot of candidates on the BC Lions defense in that category well the linebackers should be able to scrape because they won't have too many people on them when you consider that there's Cameron Wake and watch the attention that he draws. There's Gene Mikowski. Okay, there's Parento, the tight end. And guess who else is out there, Stu Ford? That's a triple team on Cameron Wake. So if they're triple teaming Wake, then that'll mean that the linebackers, Otis Floyd, Javi Glatt, Jamal Johnson, will be free to scrape and go to the football. And in safety range once again as they let the clock tick down here. Borum stands a yard deep in his end zone. Three seconds on the play clock, and now they snap the football, and Borum will get chased out the back. And a couple more points on the board. 21-9, to BC leads by a dozen. And the Lions defense is feeling it. Tyrone Williams we had on the radio in Vancouver. On the team radio in Vancouver. And I and I asked Tyrone Williams, I said, what about your teammate Cameron Wake? Have you ever played with a better rush in? And he said, no, not in my time in the National Football League either. I said, how would you describe him? He said, he is one gigantic fast twitch muscle. <laughs> Haven't registered a sack tonight, but getting so much attention that other Lions are stepping up. BC's offense will take the football at the 35 now. Here's Rolls, open man, and a drop. As Lyle Green lets it hit the carpet. The usually reliable fullback. Well, Cam Wake may be on record pace, just short of it right now. James Parker, top single season quarterback sack mark, 26 and a half when they gave out half sacks. And nobody's been in the 20s since Joe Montford in 1999. Cam Wake on pace for 25 this year. Some kind of list right there of pure pass rushes. Second and ten. And Pierce has all day to look deep. And Simon just misses. G. Roy Simon had a step on Lance Fraser. And let it fall off his fingertips. Well, that's what happens in the first half. G. Roy Simon runs those curls. He runs the outs. He runs the short patterns. He runs... He runs a bunch of those patterns to try and set up that one opportunity when 
he now gets a little more room and there he does come right through the seam he has a step on Lance Frazier that ball just out of his reach again that's Buck Pierce a couple of times now in this football game has just missed a wide open receiver early in the first half he missed one in the end zone so McCallum kicks it away Dressler and Dressler upended at the 24 Less than five minutes remaining in the third quarter. I asked I asked Cameron Wake as well before the game the the heroes that he looked up to and he said actually because I didn't start playing football until I turned 17 18 years old I was a basketball player which which explains his tremendous vertical leap said, but I was a basketball player so I wanted to be like Mike Michael Jordan he could jump like him say a 46 Six inch vertical. Stu Ford a short game. There's Cameron Wake and look at the BC Lions success at that rush end position when you consider Cameron Wake this year leads by a long shot with 15 and then 16 last year. Coach the outstanding defensive player, outstanding rookie. And then Brent Johnson, his partner on the other side, leading the previous two years. The Lions have found a way to pressure quarterbacks. They'll pin their ears back here, second and eight. Quick hitter, Dressler. And Dressler slashes through, found the crease, and up to the 47 yard line. Upended by the safety, Baron Miles. Fourth 100 yard game of the year for Weston Dressler. And his third consecutive 100-yard game. We just talked about Brent Johnson and Cameron Wake. They both come off the same edge that time, and that's exactly where Saskatchewan attacks it, getting that quick screen out there to Wes Dressler, who picks up good yardage on his own. 25 for Dressler. And a little tilt of adrenaline, perhaps, and a first down for Saskatchewan. Over to the far side, Walker. And LeVar Glover won't let him get any further. Yeah, this is the game that Saskatchewan is forced to, to go to. they got to go to the quick game. The quick hitches on the sideline, the quick outs like that to Jerron Walker. And try and ha hope that their receivers in the open field can make people miss and pick up yardage on their own. But clearly, Darian Duran is going to have to get the ball out of his hands very quickly. So it only took us 11 and a half minutes to get a first down <laughs> in this third quarter. It's good defensive football, my friend. Is it ever? Now second and four. Graham comes it up. Here's Tony in the backfield. Wide open. Cuts it back. Big race now. And a can by win the race. Touchdown. What a story here for the Regina Native. in the backfield and he's right there is going to come out of the backfield quickly when he does all the receivers there's three to the right side of the formation are all coming down inside and that's why he is allowed to get outside and outflank the lion defense then a nice move on the open field where baron miles got too far outside along with ryan phillips cuts back in there and gets to the end zone for his second tonight remarkable night for the kid to get him back in the game First half gets them back in it. Here in the second, there is a penalty marker on the convert. And Stu Ford now has his first pass receiving touchdown in the CFL. You know, and full credit to Paul Lapolice, the offensive coordinator, and Ken Miller. Offside, BC, number six, five yard penalty will be applied in the kickoff. I'll be glad offside on the convert for the coaching staff here in Saskatchewan to realize that they were struggling in this second half trying to move the football and in the second quarter as a matter of fact so they change the game plan they make adjustments on the fly and the adjustments are to go to the screen game they go to Weston Dressler on a quick screen they go to Jerron Walker on, the, on a quick out pattern in the next play and then a screen or a dump pass out of the backfield to Stu Ford quick throws 
to take the pressure off you from the defense in front four and then hope that your receiver in the open field can make some guys miss. That's what Stu Ford did to get to Hayter. He won't forget this night, but he'd like to remember it as a winner. They're still down by five, but he's given Saskatchewan and Mosaic Stadium some life here. Remember, the Rough Riders have the win in the fourth quarter. With the offside penalty on the convert, Borum will kick off from the Saskatchewan 40. Longest kickoffs in the league this year on average. Off the foot of Jamie Borum. Ian Smart with a return of the good one. Borum can't bring him down. And Ian Smart, how often has he done that this year and gets a late flag at the Rough Rider bench? Well, he was escorted out of bounds, but I really didn't see a hard push on Ian Smart once he was out of bounds. I know he was kind of run out of bounds by some Saskatchewan Rough Riders, but you know he Major wants ball. to impress. That's very rough. This. Saskatchewan, number 21, 15-yard penalty. First down. A little bit of a bump there. So, Donate Hurd called. The only thing I would say is it was a small bump, Chris, but it was about three or four yards out of bounds. And a great return. Tack on 15 and superb field position for Charlie Roberts to go to work. Right through the heart of that tough run defense of Saskatchewan, ranked number two coming into the game, and Roberts rips off 17. Well, what a move he makes on, on Maurice Lloyd because this doesn't happen very often on Maurice Lloyd, one of the great tacklers at middle linebacker who is right there in the middle of your screen. Watch how he is going to scrape to the hole. He beats his man to the hole, and that cut back there by Charles Roberts is one that really only Charles Roberts can make. Little look in, Logan. Here's Stefan Logan. Down to the 15. Again, Roberts and Logan in the offensive set together on that.